Howdy, how are you doing? So, before you even receive this reading, you need to leave that anxiety at the door. Depression? Don't know her. When it comes to receiving a reading during this time frame, you're just vibing out with me. We're just hanging out, so. Hey girl. Hello my beautiful Aquarius, how are you doing? My name is Simply Velka and today I'm going to be doing your weekly general tarot reading Aquarius. So if you find any cards that resonate with you in this reading, I would love to hear about it in the comments below. Which cards resonate with you and how they do Aquarius, because that's how I keep up with y'all, is through the comments Aquarius. Um, as well, if you enjoy this reading or if you just enjoy my vibe Aquarius, I'd really appreciate it if you were to give this video a like and subscribe because it does help out my tarot reading channel a lot. And I always am super appreciative of it, Aquarius, when you guys take that extra step to support my tarot reading channel in that way. So, Aquarius, before we get into this reading, uh, use your intuition, because put it in perspective, I'm just a man reading some tarot cards to you. You know your situation better than I ever possibly could, so take the cards that resonate and leave what doesn't. Uh, when it comes to my weekly readings, Aquarius, um, they're not here to make a decision in your life. They're just here to give you some food for thought, a perspective for you to consider in your life, uh, Aquarius, but never making the decision, because it's your life to live, not these tarot cards, not me, Aquarius. So with all that in mind, Aquarius, let's just get into your weekly reading, starting out with your objective card. And your objective card is the Ace of Pentacles. So really good card to have, Aquarius. Uh, with this Ace of Pentacles, this is like the, uh, I like to say the Ace of Pentacles is kind of like the universe handing you a blank check almost, right? And then you get to decide how much that check is worth, right? You're the one writing down the uh the amount aquarius so when you have this as like your mm, you have an extra card coming in here i guess those two cards could, but don't mind me i'm like looking at your spread and there's the no two cards st stuck together um so yeah continuing on with this focusing back on to your objective card aquarius i'm sorry um so yeah this is a really good week of where it's like it's kind of like make the most of it, Aquarius, right? This is a very, this, usually whenever the Ace of Pentacles comes forward, that's a very, very good sign of uh, manifesting, right? If you subscribe to the thought process of manifesting, bringing forward stuff into your life, um, Aquarius. So this is a really good week on setting the intention and like actively taking steps um, towards creating things because it does seem to be like, I mean, it does, it is that case, Right with this Ace of Pentacles, it is the case that it's just like the more you, the most, the more that you make out of a situation, or the most that you make from this situation, the more, the more productive that you are this week, Aquarius, the better off you will be. The more that you will reap, and so the clarifiers that we have going on for your Ace of Pentacles, Aquarius, is the Knight of Pentacles. A lot of Pentacle energy for you this week. Ace of Wands was what I was talking about with the action. And then the Nine of Pentacles. So really beautiful clarifiers to have for this. So this is, I mean, I'm going to just hone in on the message for like those that are talking about that is addressing financial for my Aquarius. It's a really good financial week. So again, when you read in between the lines, when it comes to tarot, if tarot is saying like it's a really good financial week uh, for you, Aquarius, how do you get to those finances? It's through those projects. It's through putting yourself out there it's through um yeah just through i do feel like it's just through action as i was saying before right with this ace of wands here this is you going forward this is in, in, in the name of passion right this is what is driving you aquarius is this ace of wands this is how you continue going forward and when you have it paired with the ace of pentacles it's just powerful because whenever aces are connect, uh, connected, Aquarius, because when they're connected, that's a, this is an affirmation for you guys to continue doing something as well. So for my Aquarius that are like, I feel like this is more so like a side message for my Aquarius that have like taken a risk on something, on a project, right? It's like, I feel like it's for my Aquarius that have done like a risky move of some sort. They've taken a chance on something. Um, there is this message here. I feel like, you're gonna be rewarded for it soon. Um, because yeah, with this Knight of Pentacles here, you got out of your comfort zone. And this, you getting out of your comfort zone, I do, let's just say like some of you guys, Aquariuses, maybe some of you recently have like quit your job, 
right? To do a passion, put more energy, commit to make more time for a passion project of sorts, right? Because with this Nine of Pentacles, it's like you're getting, I know this is an example, right? I'm not saying all Aquariuses are like quitting their jobs or anything, but it's like you going into uncharted territory, you taking a risk. Um, not only obviously does it pay off financially, but it's just like it's some type of risky uh, move that somehow affects your finances. And you get the payout though, Nine of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles is that card of um, self-sufficiency. I'm pretty sure this card has been following you guys for quite some time, Aquarius. So I really do just enjoy seeing this Nine of Pentacles for you guys. It's showing to me. Uh, Aquarius is that y'all are definitely some hustlers so if we're going to just break this down summarize this energy for your objective this is just a really good week Aquarius to um, challenge yourself really right don't just like you know obviously like don't just do things that you know that you're good at take over like if there's like a product that you're thinking about releasing if there's a project that you're thinking about releasing or if there's like this idea that you would have that would be um that you want to do to make like a new stream of revenue do it because i do just get this sense it's just like normally i don't just speak in terms of finances and i just speak about like manifestation in its like own umbrella but i do feel like it's just honing in on such a message for you guys aquarius for like financial matters of like challenging yourself pushing yourself as like in the best that you can because it does seem to be the more you get out of your comfort zone the more that you're rewarded essentially from that so um good cards to have for your objective aquarius so now let's get into your actual tarot spread for this weekly reading um aquarius so starting out because i started pulled some cards for your past present and future so we're going to start out with your past cards aquarius what it is that you've been dealing with and probably are in the process of coming out of uh where's the current lessons right that you've been dealing with so this is where you have the extra card the card that was stuck together so you guys had the page of wands that i was anticipating and then the eight of wands came out as well that i noticed for you guys aquarius and so in this sense I feel like you guys already have started this journey on, you know how I was talking about the objective card, like putting yourself out there. I feel like you guys, some of you Aquariuses were already ahead of the game, a couple steps ahead of the game, which is beautiful affirmation because it's showing to me like um, how in tune you guys are with like your spirit guides because that's what the Nine of Pentacles always represents as well, is like listening to your guide when it comes to that self-sufficiency. I'm just trying to see if I could find the card to show you guys since I already put it in the deck. It's too late. Oh, well, maybe it'll come up again. So, yeah, I feel like some of you guys are ahead of the game, Aquarius. So this is really good. Um, so with this Page of Wands, some of you guys have already started taking action. And with this Eight of Wands on taking upon more responsibility for yourself in some way. You're taking some more. It's like, yeah, that's just the overall theme is just like you're taking you've recently like taken upon taken upon yourself to get more responsible like to put more responsibility on yourself whether that's through like business or like letting go of something yeah i really am getting the sense that some of you aquariuses have been really thinking about like letting go of a job or like freeing up your time to do more that's like for yourself and all these clarifiers confirm that um so the clarifiers that we have for your eight of wands and page of wands we'll probably pull some more just because this is two cards um the clarifiers that we start out with though is the empress card coming in here we have the nine of cups and then we have the death card darling so this is what i was saying you know how i was saying before of whereas like some of you Aquariuses may have just like quit your job to make more time for that passion project. Um, this death card comes in again, where it's just like this page of wands, like you have to make time for it, right? This page of wands, eight of wands is almost like you applied some pressure on yourself going into this new beginning. And so whether that pressure was like quitting a job, it's almost just like, yeah, you're definitely putting yourself through a little bit more hardship by putting some close closures to things. I do feel like you guys ended some things to make more time for some type of passionate thing of yours, um, Aquarius. And I say this because of these uh, the Empress card coming in with the uh, Nine of Cups as well. The Empress card is the card of like, this is the character building card, darling. This is the card where it's just like, this is the 
the events that are happening in your life in this current time or in this case in this past time where stuff that's really like teaching you more about yourself and really which makes sense again because you're gaining more responsibility i'm seeing in this nine of cups it's showing to me where it's just like it's all about the self again you get the nine of pentacles and the nine of cups you're solo in both of these energies so i really do get the sense that you guys released something that was initially part of your path part of your story for some time now aquarius um so that being in your past energy like some of you guys already started this process other other of you guys um aquarius is i feel like you guys are if you haven't already started the process you're going to have a fast-paced a, a transition because i don't feel like this is something that you guys are stuck in for a long time i feel like it's kind of like a quick like just ripping off the band-aid almost uh so now let's get into your current energies we have the seven of pentacles this is where you're putting energy you know like you you put closure to things that um i had such a perfect analogy from before <laughs> right you freed up took more time you got some you took upon yourself more responsibility right and now with that newfound responsibility with this newfound uh time that you have by like quitting that job or whatever right again just examples uh, you put more time into feeding energy into these pentacles seven pentacles is really nurturing something new uh coming into your life Aquarius really trying to give birth to something and so now let's see the clarifiers that we have for the seven of seven of pentacles I guess we already pulled the cards there he slipped out Aquarius uh so the clarifiers that we have for your seven of pentacles Aquarius is the devil card we have <coughs> we have the four of cups I'm choking on my own spit honey uh we have the lover's card and then we have the sun card coming in for you, Aquarius. So good cards to have. Uh, how do we break this down though? How does spirit want the story to be had? So with these seven of pentacles, I feel like they've been here for a while. I don't feel like you just planted them. I feel like you're just now putting more energy into these things. You're just now deciding to water this part of your garden. Um, almost right with this devil card you just addressed i don't feel like this devil card is necessarily a bad card either i know the devil card seems spooky and whatever right this is the devil this is, yeah. but i feel like this is just like whatever was taking away your energy whatever was distracting you from before right especially with this four of cups i say it's like distracting you because i feel like um again like i feel like this was presented to you before right i don't feel like these seeds were just planted i feel like they've been planted you just were not like you were just distracted with this right and so now that you took care of this devil in your life aquarius you're now able to tend to the seeds that you already had started that are already planted that actually you know you're starting to water the things that actually will nurture you or uh feed more of that uh fulfillment for you and so then you have the sun card and the lover's card coming in together so this is definitely confirming to me of uh this is very much so very happy um things working out in like a very much so like a personal life for you aquarius i feel like even though like things are going to be chaotic um and like a lot more stressful a lot more pressure for you aquarius just because you are naturally putting on more uh um responsibility on yourself right you really are challenging yourself i do get this sense that it's through these challenges though that like it's going to be a good busy like you're going to be extremely busy aquarius you're going to be dealing with a lot of stress probably a lot of pressure but it's going to be good it's going to be fulfilling to you it's going to be like by the time like you're going to be exhausted darling right i'm not going to promise like rainbows and sunshine but i never do aquarius but you're going to be able to like lay your head on the pillow at night and just be really like really like extremely tired but really happy with how things are panning out in your life so I really like to see that now let's get into your king of pentacles your future energy what's going on here right this is that st uh this is a stability energy this is the energy of uh what it is that you've been creating right what happens from that seven of pentacles you end up growing into with this king of pentacles you end up growing that empire right because the king 
only as a king if they have an empire. And I feel like it started with these seven seats, with these seven pentacles that you started putting more energy into, that you made more time for, it, right? So now let's look into this, right? Let's look into this future card for you, for this king of pentacles, Aquarius. <clears throat> Nope, we're not taking those. Take this one, take this one, take this one. All right. <laughs> so you got all major arcanas, so it's definitely through huge transitions. Uh, clarifiers that we have for your King of Pentacles, the Libra card, the Justice card. We have the Strength card. This is the Leo card. And don't ask me what, I don't remember what this, what Zodiac sign the Magician card is for, <laughs> um, Aquarius, so forgive me on that. But I like this energy a lot. Um, King of Pentacles is definitely showing to me that you don't build up, I mean, naturally, you don't build up this empire through, like, rainbows and sunshine, it's through blood, sweat, and tears. Um, so huge transition. Strength card coming in, shadow work card. This is definitely, like, the challenge. Uh, for you definitely like a confirming like the character building but it's through the challenges that you're being put yourself that you're putting yourself in right now Aquarius that I feel like is a very pivotal thing for you to really bring forth some balance that allows you to create so what do I mean by this I really do just get this sense Aquarius you need to free up your time more you need, you need to like figure out where it is that you're putting your like where your time and energy is going each day each week and figure out how you can be more efficient with it there's something here that's going to force you to kind of look at the cycles in your life force you to kind of like self-reflect on where it is that you could do better Aquarius um so that you can continue manifesting and really creating the life that you want right with this magician here the magician is actively always trying to manifest uh, stuff into bring stuff into the reality really trying to create it's a powerful energy to have with this king of pentacles but um you only get to this place by the strength card the shadow work card and the justice card something's out of balance that you need to kind of like make the tough decisions on make the hard uh decisions on making more time for yourself um yeah i do feel like in order like i feel like this justice card is such a pivotal card for you aquarius in the sense that once the scales are more balanced out that's when the creation happens but the only way that you get them balanced out is through the strength card so whatever it is whatever lesson that you need to go through whatever hard decision that you need to go through um to clear up i mean i feel like it is attached to that seven of pentacles right because you only get to that empire right by making more time for the seven of pentacles so it does feel like you there's some type of hard choice that you need to make hard decisions hard yeah um to make time for that seven of pentacles to nurture that seven of pentacles but it's so pivotal for you to bring that into balance make more time for that um but yeah, Aquarius, that's the cards that I have for you for this weekly reading. I really enjoy this. I actually do feel a call to, uh, we'll do some Moon Oracle. I didn't do that for any of the other air signs, so don't tell them, Aquarius. It's just our secret. <laughs> we'll do one more uh, Moon Oracle card for y'all. Let's see here. Pull this one here. All right, Aquarius, so the three moon cards that you have, you have the new moon in Capricorn, your hard work is paying off. So definitely what I was saying before, nurturing those uh, seven of pentacles, those seeds, right, that I was talking about uh, in this, this is the hard work that pays off, right, by kind of confirming like those seeds that you've been be needing to put more water into, more energy into that you probably been like, oh, I need to water those plants, right? It's going to pay off, right? It's definitely going to pay off, uh, Aquarius. I feel like this card kind of comes in trying to bring you some peace of mind, trying to give you like that, like that sense of release, right? New moon in Sagittarius, luck is on your side. And then the balsamic moon, a time for healing. So yeah, you're definitely going to be making some tough choices this week, um, Aquarius. You're definitely going to be going through um, some hurdles, some 
character defining moments, right? But I don't feel like it's anything like an outside event. I feel like it's kind of more so having like the tough conversations, making like the tough calls. That's just more so making more time for yourself, right? Especially, you know, if you like your job, if you love your job, nothing wrong with your job, nothing wrong with the people that you work with. But if you need to make more time to feed these pentacles, right? For these pentacles, seven of pentacles, then you kind of have to, something has to give, right? So it's kind of one of those situations where it's just like, there's no hard feelings, but you kind of have to just make this decision for yourself, right? And you kind of have to uh, remind yourself of that Aquarius as you make those decisions, because I feel like that's essential for you to bring things into balance, to really start. That's when the really, the creation starts happening for you. That's when things really start, uh, the gears start turning for you is when you start bringing things into balance by making those tough decisions to make more time for yourself. So anyways, Aquarius, that is the cards that I have for you for this weekly reading. If you did enjoy this reading, let me know in the comments below which cards did and how they did. Uh, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe. Uh, as well, Aquarius, I do weekly readings for all the zodiac signs, not just Aquarius. So if you have a friend that's into tarot, or even if they are not Aquarius, I would love for you to share my videos with them and maybe they can find a tarot message that resonates with them as well. But until next time, my beautiful Aquarius, I love you so much.